How's it going everyone? Daniel Brunhagen here, and I'm about to share you guys my YouTube story and how all this came to be, especially for the people that are subscribed to me and also to the our network freedom so that way they can easily share this through everything else. So while I'm gonna be doing this, I'm gonna be doing a a drawing montage and I'm gonna be trying to do anime versions of me and everyone else that was involved with uh, liberal asses and explain why the channel's not called what it is and called my name for the stupid reason. But further to go on I will demonstrate all this and everything and explain everything else in detail whenever we started and how it how it became to be now so that way everybody knows what the aspect of how hard it was to get this far and the struggle and everything and my honest opinion about like how because I've heard some other people's uh, YouTube stories and everything else I'm going to be explaining my YouTube story so without further ado, we are going to go ahead and go straight to the next part of the video. Hello, and I'm going to also demonstrate this while I'm drawing, and I'm doing a voiceover over this. And as you can clearly see, that the picture is completely blank, and I will be showing this, doing it in pencil and then in ink. Alright, to start off with, the Liberal Asses group started with just a few of us with me included into it. There was three founders originally into it. That was uh, me, my brother, and also Ghetto Clown, which you know as Jerome Fletcher, that's also on this channel currently. And uh, we did basically stuff, the reason why it's called Liberal Asses was uh, because we basically did the same thing as Jackass and everything. And we did that stuff around in like 2007, I believe and then around in 2009 just like everything disappeared and everything everybody fell apart went their separate ways and everything but the comparison of everything else is like we tried to put all of our stuff into the YouTube thing but never found out we kept on using MySpace because MySpace was the big thing back in the day before Facebook and all that so we started using MySpace a lot for all of our stuff like Templars for liberal asses and everything else but currently around uh, 09 we went dead silent nobody did anything we had some people that were still trying to do the YouTube thing but on their own way such as Jose or you might know him as Red Jack but uh some of us went our separate ways some of us got jobs and everything got kids and married which for me instantly I kept on wanting to try to do my thing of entertaining people that was my main thing was entertaining people I flip flopped between uh, parts where I was uh, doing automotive technology I went through that trying to figure out my own way and everything else because obviously like I was held back multiple times and criticized for my way of being a entertainer and all that so finally around in uh, 20 about 2013 I uh, decided okay I'm gonna be buying the camera I took all my videos that were saved up on like the old liberal asses videos that we had saved up on my computer that I managed to have but not everybody else had and forged a YouTube channel and placed them up on there and originally the YouTube channel was supposed to be called liberal asses but for some reason it went and altered into Daniel Budenhagen, which is my actual name. And uh, for some reason, for a past five months, Liberal Asses channel went missing off my uh, little thing of uh, channels I had set up. And then out of nowhere, from five months, it started showing up, so I had to change that out. And currently, I'm still in the process of wanting to change the Daniel Boonhagen and rebrand it as the liberal asses and some of the videos I did were like cheap 
undone like type of stuff but yet again that was just trying me me trying to get like at least some more quality videos out there than uh what I had at first and everything and at first it was just us messing around and everything else and then some of us were actually trying to take it seriously and make it into like a fundable project type of thing but it never fell through but then I started seeing like other youtubers trying to do stuff and originally this YouTube channel was supposed to be like parody type of stuff like parodying other YouTube channels parodying other like pop culture and everything with some video game commentary but recently I've been doing more of a video game commentary and telling jokes and stories on it which I've had Metal Warrior and Ghetto Clown, one of the other founders of the Liberal Assets Group, show up. But whenever we first started, we only started with about five people. Some people dropped out. We got two other more people, and we kept on growing than decreasing in numbers of how many people we had, so on and so forth. But whenever it came down to it, we always like uh, kept a consistent flow of how we were going to do stuff. And like who's going to do what and who was going to do the next stunt and everything. Basically doing bodily harm to us. But whenever like other interesting pars came up there and everything else. And then Jackass basically fell into obscurity pretty much. Where like nobody was tolerating them anymore. Nobody was wanting to fund them anymore or anything. And MTV wanted to basically cancel them I believe it was. I'm not too sure about that. But around in 2013 though I tried to uh, I went and uploaded all the old videos like I said and then I tried to make it into a different type of thing and then I struggled hard enough like at first my first uh, network plan was trying to get with a uh, full screen but full screen denied me numerous of times and I tried my best to try to get with them and then I finally gave up but then I didn't really give up on trying to make videos for everyone because I saw that there were several people that came up to me and they were watching some of my videos and some people even came up to me in my own town uh, saying that I was doing pretty good work on it and I should keep up the work on it so in that case I just kept on trying to strive while I was working a full-time job I'm still working a full-time job as of now where I'm still working at where I started at but uh I've been trying to better myself, I've taught myself how to do other uh, editing tools. I first started using the YouTube Creator uh, editing tool and then I moved up to uh, Movie Maker which is like somewhat better than the Movie Creator or the Movie, uh, the YouTube Creator edit, editor and then I currently use uh, Movie Maker sometimes and then also uh, Adobe Premiere Pro which uh, has helped me out a lot on some of my edits and doing everything else. I've been sitting there trying to figure out other ways and easier methods. And around like uh, 2014, I finally decided to go out of town for my vacation. And I went to a Best Buy in Oklahoma City where I managed to find a capture card for a really good deal. Which I still use that capture card even to this day. And that's the Elgato HD uh, capture card where I can even play uh, component games, basically old school games that I want. And then uh, as I was trying to get some of the guys to come back, uh, some of them uh, didn't want to, So, which I understand why, uh, what the situation was. But uh, I went into the scenes of like, I'm trying to make it where everybody can get everything going we can do what we love and everything else and for me I'm a one I'm one major video gamer of all I love fucking playing video games I love making jokes and everything else I love entertaining people I love doing stupid stuff like stupid satire type of things and I would also like to do like little sitcom type of things I would like to do and everything but Yet again, it all comes down to if I have enough time to do all that. I've literally ran my time where I have to juggle full-time job while recording and doing live streams and everything else while I'm trying to do video edits. And sometimes it's 
getting so bad where sometimes I don't have full time to do a uh, video edit and I'm only doing it like around two days but my main thing is is like don't hesitate on what to do keep following your dream and like how I heard some people say uh, look out for number one that is not entirely true just as long as you believe in yourself and believe in what you can do and what you can actually make of yourself that is the true meaning of this and like if you feel like you have been beaten down or anything else like stressed out because you don't know if it's gonna work out just keep on fighting and then that one day will come where everything will actually work out for you in the end no matter what happens you can easily just get this all arranged out where you can literally do anything and make sure like everything is going properly for you and do what you actually love to do and like I said I like to entertain people I like to make people laugh and everything so in that case I just say like it's not just like all for one it's more like try your best try to strive to be the best don't let anybody say that you can't just actually do what you want to do live what you want to do and make something about it because if you don't if you're not able to make something about it then nobody else will help you out with it there's some people out there yes they'll help you out and everything like that and like when I got a chance to find out about uh, freedom the network that I'm currently on with I actually jumped on the opportunity with that because I tried to find a way to get at least some recognition from other networks like full screen which uh, did not recognize me at all or anything and they're giving me BS stuff and they won't let me join on or anything but yet again I have other people that joined on with them that had even worse quality videos than I did and that just made me break down but yet again I'm with freedom right now and I prefer being with freedom and like I tell people before is like honestly if you want a network to work with you I tell them to go to freedom at the time because honestly like out of all the other network systems that I try to go with they've shot me down and then took somebody else in and I just think like that's stupid but yet again this is coming from a person that's in the middle of nowhere and in liberal Kansas and most of my friends would probably kill me for how I'm drawing them right now so <laughs> but yeah that's pretty much it it's just like you don't give up don't surrender and don't let anybody say like you can't do this because of such and such and you can't do this because you have no talent or skill I went through Onimo technology like I said and I've learned myself how to do video edits not granted that it's the best or anything but I actually studied and learned how to do it myself and everything and yes it is hard to do video editing but if you take your time and patience to do it you can easily do it no matter what but in regards what I'm saying is never give up don't give up on your dream strive to be the best that you can possibly be always go the furthest route as possible learn as much as you can do whatever you can take to actually make a name for yourself do what you actually dream to do do what you strive to do no matter what anybody says always like don't ever give up just keep striving and keep fighting till you actually get that opportunity where you manage to do what you wanted to do don't let anybody say that oh you have to change this and that because of certain things like they don't like yes granted there are people out there that don't like certain uh, certain type of things that go on but that is the world that is the internet you're not going to appease everyone you're not going to change everyone's mind in one day so that's why I just say don't let anyone bring you down actually strive and fight for what you want to do make sure that you follow your dreams make sure that you fulfill them no matter what no matter what education system says that you can't no matter what type of uh, people go and tell you that you can't do this or anything else because they're wrong you can do anything that you want Granted, that most people would say that you can't do it you can't do this you can't do that regardless 
you can do virtually anything anything that you want all you have to do is learn strive and claw your way to actually know how to do this to strive how to do this how to do everything as possible no matter what it is like saying like you can't be an animator because you haven't been in an art school or you can't be an actor just because you haven't taken an acting course or you can't be a video editor because you haven't learned anything about video editing or any type of thing like that from a college degree that is untrue you can learn it virtually anywhere including even in the internet granted that there's some places that give tutorials that are like bull crap tutorials but yet again there are tutorials out there there are people out there that actually show other people how to do certain things and for me like I'm a hands-on type of person I can't really read up on everything and try and figure it out I'm literally the one that I have to see it firsthand and then I just end up doing it and everything I'm a hands-on person but yet again I'm different everyone else is different everyone is different in their type of sense just don't let anyone talk down on you strive to be the best that's all I gotta say for now so to top this off I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, end my conversation while I'm still drawing up this poster Well, so far that's my YouTube story and all, and here's the poster right here. You can get a good clarification of that right there. And then we have the hashtag freedom all set up in there. Everything. Well, you guys want to see the rest of the, like, want to see the video where I do the whole entire thing without the cuts or fast forwards or anything else? And plus, me finish this poster. Let me know in the comment section down below and everything. And hopefully, maybe some of this may have uh, touched you up in a little bit. But for now, I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.